Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, uh, you are getting a Patreon-sponsored video by Darth Vendor. Uh, thank you very much for sending the scenario in. Thank you very much for all your support. And um, if you are interested in supporting the channel uh, through monetary means, you can join for as little as, uh, I think it's a one euro, uh, the minimum pricing tier. And there's, just, there's a link in the description for that. And one of the benefits is you get your scenarios covered um, pretty much, as, well, as soon as I can possibly get them done. Um, so this this is a really interesting one. So we've got a heavy cruiser and two destroyers going up against a heavy cruiser, two lights and 14 transports, all fairly normal. However, uh, we're going to start with the destroyer because the request was that I take the Ulan class here, which I'm going to copy, and we make some modifications as requested by the Admiralty. So first of all, the cost at 32 and a bit million is too expensive for the Admiralty. They wish me to reduce costs, um, but they also have some other requirements. So first of all, uh, auxiliary drives uh, I've been told I can cut that back, and I do not have to run it on diesel. So, um, if we go for a double-geared steam turbine, um, they do, however, want us to maintain top speed. I think I can do that on a balanced boiler. That saves a significant amount of money. Um, now, the, the request was to reduce the cost by 50% or more. Um, now, I don't know if that's reduced by 50% of the cost or reduce it to half, uh, 38. So we're, we're looking to get it down to about under 20 million, I think. Uh, we can definitely reduce the auxiliary engine. We can go from the aux diesel, again, saving about a million. We can use a less advanced shaft, less advanced steering gear, because the, the ship is already pretty manoeuvrable. Uh, we could drop the anti-flooding systems by a step. And um, we also have another requirement. Um, an optional suggestion to separate the bow torpedo tube into offset single launches, which is an interesting, interesting one. So we can, we can try that. So basically putting one here, one there. Uh, the idea was to improve the firing arcs. However, I don't think... Yeah, there's a there's a limit on where it can be placed. So we, we shall uh, keep the dual launcher. Um, but I, we, we, did, we did investigate whether it was possible to do. Um, and actually, I think I could probably get away with just reducing the displacement of the ship. To be honest, hopefully it won't change size. No. Nope. Yeah, eighteen twenty-one, and we are definitely under our budget now. Um, I reckon we can get it a bit lighter and a bit cheaper. All very important. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> there we go. So, we've reduced displacement, we've reduced cost massively, but uh, otherwise it is um, it is still very much the same the same little uh, converted U-boat, <laughs> aka destroyer, uh, that we had before. We do have a little bit of a four weight offset. Just see if we can fix that. There we go. Lovely. Nice little, uh, little uh, balanced ship. The Tetra, um, I think she should do fine. Now the other ship we have to build is a heavy cruiser. Now our heavy cruiser also has requirements. Uh, so Miklos Holthy has put together a naval doctrine centered on tough, quick, cheap Raider heavy cruisers 
that can harass enemy logistics, hence the convoy attack. Um, so it must be a minimum displacement heavy cruiser 2, so 16,000 tons. Must have a top speed of at least 34. Must use the rear tower 1. And must use a super funnel, uh, small, this one, because the Emperor likes it. <laughs> With 8-inch guns. And must be able to shrug off hits of 8-inch shells or above, costs of 56 million or less. Now, because it's a raider, I'm also going to go for maximum range. Uh, and we're going to put a regular crew on this. Standard quarters, I think, is fine. Um, we're going to stick with steam. Try for a balanced steam. Let's go for the same kind of cost-saving option that we we have with the destroyer. Now, probably going to go with the cheap tower, seeing as we're trying to keep costs down. With Okay, so we can't have that. So I might have to use the bigger tower. Yeah. I don't think it'll fit on the two. Oh, well. Okay. Brilliant. We'll go with the two then. Now, we have to use 8-inch guns. And I I'm just going to go for jewels. Very classical setup. Uh, we would definitely want some secondaries though. Can I get fives in? No. Fours? Yes. Mm. Yeah, a couple of four inch guns. Kind of like chasers in a way. And then we'll just go to the, all the way down to two inch. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all right. We would want some torpedo tubes. Uh, yeah, we'll just get some underwater ones. I think that's all all absolutely fine. Now, the requirement is that we are able to uh, bounce an 8-inch shell. So the nastiest 8-inch shell the enemy could possibly use, or we could possibly use, so therefore the enemy as well, is a tube powder 2 TNT 4 super heavy shell. Uh, so let's have a look. What can you go through? Um, you are able to go through 25 point, well, call it 26 uh, inches of armor. So we're gonna, we want a 12 inch belt if we we're at point blank range. But realistically, uh, we shouldn't be at point blank range. What happens if I go for somewhere between two and a half and five thousand meters go for a 20 20 inch effective yeah then we're wanting about a nine inch belt at least so somewhere between nine and twelve um let's go for let's go for ten nice round number um i'll do the rest of the armor later but it's just to remind me kind of what figures i'm looking for and uh, in terms of deck hits two inch maximum so yeah four inch main deck is, is more than enough um you could probably actually shave these the four and a half deck down a little bit and we make the superstructure two inches as well um so all our deck protection is done it's just the belts um we definitely want a radar and the sonar probably if we're raiding uh the torpedoes i'm I'm fine with a standard one. Um, I would actually quite like the tube powder <laughs> shells. It's gonna get. It's gonna be getting the protection in. Crypt four helps. Uh, let's go anti flood two, reinforce one, barbette standard, anti torpedo two, and a double bottom hull. Yeah, that that works. And we still have a little bit of displacement left, but I am vastly overweight. Uh, overweight? Over budget. Hmm.
weights and costs. Oh, of course, because it includes crew. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll dump the crew. Um, Fifty six. Okay, so what are we spending a lot of money on? Uh, engines and boilers, very expensive. I wonder. Well, no, we're pretty much at our limit there. What's next? Uh, well, then it's crew. Even though you know, we're not spending very much on crew, we'll go cramped. Let's save a lot of money. No, saves a bit. But nowhere, nowhere near enough. Uh, it's that tower. That tower is really expensive. Hmm. Maybe if we go down to shaft one. So yeah, saves it a little tiny, tiny bit. 56 million though. It's really tough. I can reduce the range, but uh, to medium. Saves us a little bit. Uh, what if we can get away with regular geared turbines? Oh, I can. And that gets me under. Can I increase the range again? Yeah, but it's a bit heavier. Okay, we'll do that. So we're under, we're under cost. I'll get a crew back. Um, fiddling around with the armor won't change change that much. So at least uh, ten inch on the guns as well. Four on the top. Uh, tower, I'd like ten as well. And then really, for me, it is about getting those belts up. If I can get them all the way up to four inch. Ooh. Maybe even five. That's good. Yeah, five, five inch, ten, ten, five. That's uh, not too bad. And we still in the budget? Yes, we are. Excellent. Okay. And then we just need to balance the ship. So. Uh, four way offset. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> mostly on this tower. Yeah, there we've got point three. One percent half weight offset. That's a bit easier. Bring this back a bit. Uh, could move that forward, but it's not making a huge difference, and I kind of like the look of it. I uh, might be able to do it on armor though. Shave the aft belt, increase the forward belt a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Um, Point one? Point one's pretty good. There we go. Balanced. And we can stick the rest of the displacement in the tower. There we go. The uh, Amstetten class cheap ish raider. Hmm. Well, hopefully the Admiralty is pleased. Uh, and this meets their design requirement um let's go uh what do we got heavy cruiser <sighs> looks interesting three guns at the back 
Damn. Okay. Uh, could be a tricky one. Continue to beat this off. Continue to beat this off. And detach. Okay. Let's get in towards those transports. Where are the escorts? So we've got the two light cruisers out the front. Hmm. Lots of torpedoes on that. Basically a destroyer. And the heavy. Also very <laughs> destroyer-like with the number of torpedoes. Seven inch guns. Okay. We should be pretty safe from um, their guns in that case. We really need to get in amongst those transports so we can avoid massive torpedo waves. changing a little bit. No hits yet. Oh, no good hits. Oh, okay. That's a very visible torpedo. That's good news for me. Let the uh, heavy cruiser engage the escorts. Actually, it's not brilliant, I must confess. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, five inch guns. Armour? Oh, they are actually armoured, the light cruisers. No idea on the heavy cruise yet. There we go. The uh, is that the destroyers? Yeah, destroyers with their three-inch guns starting to uh, get involved with the transports. If I can drive a wedge between the escorts. And the transports, though, that would be amazing. Yeah, 7 inch Cordite TNT guns, 24 knots. Armour's not terrible. And, uh, yeah, tons, tons and tons and tons of torpedoes. The objective here is to destroy the convoy. Not so much beat up the escorts. those transports. A couple of good hits on the heavy. It's just fired torpedoes though. Oh wait, at my destroyers? Really? That seems bold. Can't see them, but uh, they definitely launched them. Let's 
Let's uh, get to uh, butchering. ship. It's interesting to try and do a budget build. As you can see, this uh, the cruiser and the destroyer is more than capable of uh, slicing through a convoy very, very, very quickly. and slow down the amount of fire and smoke. Oh, it's a torpedo. What a sneaky thing to do. Again, must be the uh, heavy cruiser that did that. I have no particular desire to uh, tangle with the cruisers. Well, they have the Emperor's warships undamaged, uh, but helpfully, they did just torpedo one of their own transports. Two left. One more. very long. Right. Uh, destroyers fall in on the cruiser. And the cruiser. Let's go. Apart from a little bit of a love tap. We can uh, just get out of here. Pretty sure that heavy cruiser has yeah absolutely no chance of catching it's 24 knots light cruisers at 29 cannot match the Amstetten um, who's pretty much at top speed anyway and yeah, yeah they really haven't done much damage to us at all 19 hits most of which were from 5 inch guns doing 66 damage That's basically basically nothing And yeah, we'll uh, make good our escape. Thank you very much. Well, very successful outing for the Emperor's Finest, uh, the Imperial and Royal Hungarian, uh, Austro-Hungarian Navy. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Treadmarks. Bye for now.